Chimeras are deep sea fishes. They're known as ghost sharks because they, they have these kind of shark-like appearance, um, but, um, but they're not sharks actually, they're relatives of sharks, so they're kind of a, a cousin to the sharks actually. But they're probably separated by about 400 million years of evolution, so they're about as closely related to sharks as we are to sharks. So chimeras are really interesting because they, they seem to sort of occupy this sort of weird space in evolutionary time where, um, where they've sort of retained these kind of evolutionary relics, right, so these morphologies that you don't see anymore. Um, and sharks don't have them, chimeras still retain them, but they're actually sort of from this ancient period back in the Carboniferous, uh, some 300 or so million years ago. Um, and so we get to sort of study these kind of living relics of the past. Uh, and so one of the structures that we're really interested in studying uh, is this structure called the tenaculum, a club-shaped appendage that sits basically in the center of the forehead uh, within a cup. And it's articulated so it opens up and closes out. And so what we sort of first did, when we started looking at these fish, uh, the first thing I noticed when we, we CT scanned one of these uh, frontal uh, claspers uh, is that the teeth on the front look very much like the teeth in the jaw of the shark. And so that seems a little bit strange, right? Because why would they have a set of teeth on their forehead? So maybe there's something in that, right? Because typically, uh, not chimeras, but typically sharks and rays, they have teeth in their skin. Um, they're sort of a, a kind of a random arrangement of denticles. They're not ever patterned in this way. And if you look on the side, you can actually see the sort of the progression of the teeth in this kind of whirl-like manner, which is very similar to the lower jaw or the upper jaw of the shark. We found out actually, looking at the, the, uh, the range of stages of the chimera, that these teeth actually form more like teeth in the mouth than they do the denticles in the skin. So, so what's this thing used for? Right? What's the sort of the function of this strange structure on the, fore on the forehead of the chimeras? Well, so we don't really know. That's, the, that's the, the, the answer really, is that we don't really know. The only, the only evidence we have is only a few images that suggest that they use this, uh, this to basically grip or to clasp down uh, or to clamp down on the pectoral fins of females during copulation. And so chimeras, like sharks, uh, what they typically do is they try and sort of purchase or get purchase on the female pectoral fin and then basically snake their way around to, to copulate. Sharks do this, but when sharks do it, they actually use their mouths because they have the gripping teeth to do that, to bite down on the pectoral fins of the females and then snake around to copulate. Now chimeras don't have the right mouths to do that. So what we think actually is this structure, for, for whatever reason it evolved, we don't know. Uh, but in modern chimeras, we think that it's, it, it is used now as a sort of a, as a clamp uh, to sort of to bite down uh, like a jaw onto the pectoral fins of the female because the mouth can't do that and then copulate. So we think it sort of performs a very similar function to the jaw of the shark in a copulatory manner. So I, I guess what this really shows is the dynamism of teeth more generally. So if we can find teeth on the forehead of these fish, where else might we find teeth?